we will create new tools. We will have a vaccine uh, for HIV and malaria. But the poorest in the world should benefit first from AI, not be 10 or 20 years behind. Fortunately, our innovation is going faster than ever. Uh, thanks to great science, uh, if we do the right things, we can cut childhood death in half again. AI moves fast, but every now and then it does something that makes even scientists stop and say, wait, what just happened? Because this time AI cracked a problem humans have been stuck on for nearly a century. And the surprising part is that it did it inside pure mathematics, a place where intuition, proofs, and decades of human experience usually rule. What you're about to see is not hype. It's what happens when AI starts doing a kind of science that requires thousands of tiny, precise steps that no human brain can realistically process. And it's not just math. Physics and biology also had century-old puzzles fall recently because of AI. But let's start with the headline breakthrough, the one that caught mathematicians off guard because it shows exactly how different this new era of scientific discovery is becoming. At the center of this story is something called the Andrews Curtis Conjecture. It was introduced in 1965, and the easiest way to understand it is to think of a giant abstract Rubik's Cube, except instead of colors and physical turns, you're dealing with algebraic expressions, and you're only allowed a small set of legal moves to simplify them. The conjecture says that no matter how complicated your starting puzzle is, there should be some sequence of moves that simplifies it back down to a basic standard form. Sounds simple enough. But mathematicians kept finding strange puzzles that didn't seem to simplify. These became known as potential counterexamples. Researchers spent decades trying to reduce these down, and the harder ones sat unsolved for 25, 30, even more than 40 years. No one could find a clean sequence of moves, and because there are so many possible paths, it was never clear if these puzzles were genuinely unsimplifiable, or if humans were just not looking in the right places. Here's the problem. The number of possible transformations grows so fast that you can't map it out in any sane way. Some of these sequences require thousands or even millions of steps. Human intuition breaks down instantly. Traditional computers didn't help because brute forcing the space is impossible. There are more potential paths than atoms on Earth. So for decades, these problems just sat there, waiting for someone to finally figure them out. This year, a Caltech team built a reinforcement learning system designed specifically for this world of overwhelming possibilities. Instead of randomly searching, the AI learned patterns. It started with simple examples, slowly building a kind of mathematical instinct. Over time, it discovered its own long chains of moves. The researchers call these super moves because each one is actually a hidden bundle of smaller transformations that the AI found useful again and again. The system was trained like a student who keeps leveling up. It began with easy problems, then progressed to harder and harder ones. And once it learned a structure well enough, it started exploring rare, deep paths that humans never found. It wasn't trying to solve the entire conjecture. It was searching the strange corners of the puzzle that had resisted everyone else. And that's when the breakthrough happened. The AI solved entire families of potential counterexamples. These were the same examples mathematicians had been stuck on for 25 to 40 years. The AI reduced them back to the basic form, proving they were not counterexamples at all. These cases were considered some of the toughest in the field. The full conjecture is still unsolved, but a huge chunk of its hardest open problems are now settled. This is the first time a machine handled this kind of deep, multi-thousand step reasoning in abstract math. It didn't just assist, it discovered paths no human ever identified. And this marks a shift, because AI is now exploring mathematical spaces the human mind can't realistically navigate. If the math story wasn't surprising enough, the same thing's been happening in physics. And here, the problems go even further back. Fluid dynamics equations like Euler and Navier-Stokes have been around for more than a century. These are the equations that describe how air flows over a plane, how waves form, how smoke curls, and how turbulence behaves, all of it. Scientists have been trying to understand their deepest behaviors for decades, especially a question that keeps coming up. Can these equations create a blow-up? A point where the fluid speed becomes infinite in a finite amount of time. This question is so hard that the Clay Mathematics Institute made it one of its million-dollar Millennium Prize problems. Earlier this year, Google DeepMind built a physics-informed AI system to search for patterns inside these equations. Instead of feeding it random data, they trained it directly on the equations themselves. This kind of model is designed to respect the laws of physics at every step. And when researchers pointed it at the three-dimensional Euler equations, the AI began finding singularities humans never spotted. 
it located new families of unstable blowups, including one that appears using only a single scale parameter. That kind of simplicity is interesting because it hints at an underlying structure that was never identified in a hundred years of study. This wasn't just theory either. Mathematicians then ran computer-assisted proofs on what the AI found. In some cases, these AI discovered singularities held up under rigorous checking. That's the part that caught the attention of people in the field, because if these structures are real, we may be getting closer to answering the Navier-Stokes Millennium problem, or at least mapping out the neighborhood around it. Now, why does this matter outside math circles? Because these equations run the world. They govern how airplanes fly, how rockets behave, how oceans move, how climate simulations predict storms. Turbulence is one of the hardest problems in classical physics. So when AI begins uncovering new behaviors inside equations that have been studied since the early 1900s, it shows that we're entering a stage where machines can explore physical systems at a level our intuition cannot reach. For decades, one of the hardest problems in biology was figuring out how proteins fold. A protein starts as a long chain of amino acids, and the way it twists into a three-dimensional shape determines what it does in the body. Getting that shape experimentally could take months to years, even with advanced lab equipment. Biologists often call this a holy grail problem because knowing a protein structure lets you understand what it does, how it fails, and how to target it in disease. But predicting that shape from sequence alone was something researchers struggled with for nearly half a century. You know, not, not have a crazy AI race. I've been saying that for a long time, for 20, 20 plus years. If I'm a spectator, I can't really influence the direction of AI. But if I'm a participant, I can try to influence the direction of AI. So humanity is just much more interesting if you're a curious, truth-seeking AI than not humanity. Encroachment on their environment, but we, we actually try to preserve uh, the, the, uh, the chimp and gorilla habitats. That changed when DeepMind released AlphaFold in 2020. It reached near-experimental accuracy during the CASP-14 Protein Prediction Challenge, surprising researchers around the world. Since then, AlphaFold models have predicted structures for more than 200 million proteins from publicly available genomic databases. That number covers almost every known protein found in nature. And with AlphaFold 3, the system can now model full molecular complexes, which means it can predict how proteins interact with DNA, RNA, and small molecules. This is important because real biology is not one protein acting alone. It's networks of molecules working together inside cells. We will create new tools. We will have a vaccine uh, for HIV and malaria. But the poorest in the world should benefit first from AI, not be 10 or 20 years behind. Fortunately, our innovation is going faster than ever. Uh, thanks to great science, uh, if we do the right things, we can cut childhood death in half again. The impact has been immediate. Researchers in pharma, genetics, and structural biology now use these predicted structures to accelerate studies that used to take months. It's helping scientists explore enzyme design, understand genetic conditions, and generate hypotheses that would have been impossible to test quickly before. AlphaFold did not solve all of biology, but it opened the door to entire branches of research that were stuck behind experimental bottlenecks. When you line up everything that happened in math, physics, and biology, a clear pattern shows up. AI is not just calculating answers faster. It's discovering structures in places where human intuition cannot navigate. Traditional scientific breakthroughs rely on insight plus trial and error, but these century-old problems sit inside search spaces that are too large for any person to explore. This is where modern AI systems come in. Reinforcement learning lets them build long chains of reasoning. Physics-informed models help them stay grounded in real-world laws. Tensor-based frameworks let them move through thousands of dimensions without collapsing under the complexity. The result is that AI can explore scientific landscapes that were effectively locked away from us. It doesn't mean human scientists are less important. It means the toolkit just expanded in a way that changes what's possible to study. And if this trend continues, the next wave of breakthroughs may come from humans and machines working together in areas that were unreachable before. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.